there will be a capacity crowd at tonight's Lions Chiefs game as at Waikato Stadium. The Lions have so far won three and lost two matches on their tour, having beaten the Barbarians, Canterbury and the Maori on Saturday night. The Maori team, uh, they, the Lions beat them fairly comfortably in the end and lost to the Highlanders and the Blues. Um, it's uh, an important game because the team for Saturday's test in Auckland is decided and announced tomorrow. The Chiefs won't roll over easily. It's likely to be a cracker. Our reporter Andrew McRae is outside Waikato Stadium and joins us now via live view. Now, Andrew, we should say in advance that you are a wonderful Waikato reporter rather than a rugby reporter, right? And they are somewhat different disciplines. So I'm not going to grill you on pack weights or <laughs> any of that stuff. But I can observe behind you that it is a beautiful, clear evening. Is it going to stay like that for the duration of the game, do you think? Yeah, good evening, John. Yes, it is. It's uh, quite a balmy evening for this time of year. Uh, you know, it's quite, uh, it's not, not chilly at all, and a large crowd is uh, flocking in at the moment. As you said, a capacity crowd's expected. 30,000 people wow. and just uh, you might see over my shoulder if you're watching on screen uh, a temporary stand has been put up so an extra 5,000 on top of the the normal 25,000 people that can be packed into uh, Waikato Stadium. Majority of course are, are home supporters so uh, that's to be expected but uh, it's been noticeable today and tonight here at the stadium a large number of uh, Lions supporters and their red have come in and quite a few characters of course as you can see but I think uh, you know a lot of the locals here are expecting Expecting, are expecting a Chiefs win. Don't forget that Waikato, um, a bit of a history of beating the Lions back in 1973, I think it was. They won something like 48-10. Uh, the local provincial side, Waikato, beat uh, Wales last year. Uh, basically uh, quite a big score. And so there's a sort of a, a feeling here that uh, just possibly the Chiefs may be able to uh, beat the Lions. You wouldn't put your house on it, of course. Uh, the All Blacks that are normally on the Chiefs side aren't there tonight, so uh, they're going to be uh, lining up behind uh, Stephen Donald, who of course is a local hero around here, and you can uh, just guarantee that when he goes out onto the field tonight, there'll be a huge cheer, John. Yes, absolutely. I mean, he's a local hero everywhere, Stephen Donald. For people who are listening who can't remember Stephen Donald, he was the guy wearing a shirt about seven sizes too small for him, who kicked the goal in the, uh, in, in the 2011 yep. World Cup final at Eden Park. Beaver is beloved by almost everyone That's in it. the game. Just before uh, you, you, you go, Andrew, I'm, I'm really interested. The, 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 the Lions have picked their midweek team. The Chiefs don't have their All Blacks, and, and that's really important. What are, have you spoken to any Lions fans? What are they saying about the Lions' side, this midweek side? There is, a, there is an increasing sense of disconnection about them, isn't there? Well, there's a feeling, of course, that the, the midweek side is it's going to be different from the test side. But yeah. Warren Gatlin, at a press conference on Sunday here, stressed that anyone playing tonight for Lions still has a chance. He's not going to pick his side until tomorrow. So there's a lot on, on, on the line for the, for the Lions side. So they're going to play as if it is a major, major test match. And the Chiefs, of course, don't want to go away being beaten. So it's going to be yeah. a, a cracker of a game. Yeah, crack of a game on an absolutely beautiful evening. People already rolling in and kickoffs an hour away. Andrew McRae joining us from outside the Waikato Stadium. Thank you so much, Andrew. I went to the, with my friend Tim, I went to the Māori Lions game at that stadium in 2005. Uh, we were much younger then, and uh, the haka after the Māori won is something I will never forget.